Okay, so when you have a chance at the beginning of your exam, they're gonna say, would you like to test go over your equipment? You're gonna say yes. You wanna go through and you want to test the different OPA sizes, make sure you have the correct OPA. And I know that yellow is the correct one, so I have that placed in the right area. Then I go through and I make sure that my suction is ready. And I check it to make sure that it's gonna actually have suction for me when I, when I get into the exam. So I've got my suction first, I know I use that first. I've got my OPA and nothing else, none of the other sizes available. I have my BVM, which is gonna be next, and my oxygen tank, which is gonna be last. So that way I know that I've used everything I'm supposed to use. So, when you get ready to take your exam, they're gonna tell you have an unresponsive patient. You're gonna come in, you're gonna say, BSI seen as safe. I'm gonna check for responsiveness. Hey, hey, are you okay? I'm gonna check for pain. Hey, hey, are you okay? And the patient is unresponsive. unresponsive. I'm gonna check for breathing. For how long? Five to 10 seconds. And patient is apneic. Patient is apneic. I'm gonna check for a pulse. The, you have a weak carotid pulse at the rate of 60. I have a weak carotid pulse at the rate of 60. I'm gonna call for additional EMS. I'm going to open the airway and inspect the airway. The mouth is full of secretions. And mouth is full of secretions, so I need to suction. I'm gonna first turn on my suction unit. I'm gonna to test to make sure that I have suction, which I do. I'm going to measure from the corner of the mouth to the earlobe. This is as long as I can go in. I will insert with suction off. I will apply suction, go back and forth for a maximum of 15 seconds, and I will remove with suction on. Now the organs are clear. Okay, I now have a unresponsive patient, so I need to insert an OPA. I'm going to manually open the mouth. I'm gonna insert it with the phalange facing the roof of the mouth. I'm gonna turn it 180 degrees and then push it in until the phalanges are resting against the lips. Does my patient accept? Yes. Okay, now I need to begin using the bag valve mask and bagging my patient at a rate of one breath every six seconds or 10 to 12 a minute. Breathe. Two, three, four, five, six. Breathe. Two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to check for a carotid pulse for five to 10 seconds and then I'm going to continue to BVM my patient and will you please hook up the oxygen to 15 liters per minute. Five, six, three, two, three, four, five, six, breathe, two, three, four, five, six, What's the last thing? How, how would you know if you were delivering appropriate volumes with each ventilation? I would see adequate chest rise and fall. Task complete.